The Archmage's office must be somewhere back there. That would be the place to look for magical artifacts. The balcony is too far away to jump up there, uh, down, over. But isn't there a ladder in front of the tower outside? Gus Grumpy, the Seastone City Guard, is a seven-foot hulk, uglier than a gorilla, twice as strong, and three times as stupid. I'm not going to get on his bad side. Not again. The Mage's Tower in Seastone is said to be the magical center of Avantasia. The Archmage is something like the spiritual leader of the Alliance. If it weren't for the tower, the city would probably have been abandoned already. Thanks to the war, trade has almost completely come to a standstill. A hard blow for the citizens. Piece of Tempting as it may be, I'm not going to mock her. Let's call it the wisdom that comes with age. Also, there will be plenty of time for that on our way back. Thanks. The real purpose of ladders was rediscovered only a few years ago. That caused several nasty lawsuits. This is going to be interesting. Whoa! The door is protected by a mechanism that doesn't look like it can be forced. Three stone tablets arranged one over the other. Hmm. There.
This is it. This must be the Archmage's office. If there's anything in town that can protect us from Munkus's magic, we're bound to find it here. That's right, Booklet here. I don't know. Anything that looks valuable and magical, like... That scepter! Ah! That would have been too easy. Hmm, a referee's whistle maybe? Why is it hanging here? Could it have something to do with a guardian plant? That really appears to be a plant whistle. Sorry. That really appears to be a plant whistle. The water boils, turns into steam, then condenses in the tube and drips into the glass vial. If I knew how to operate this, I could gaze at the stars. And if I were interested in the stars, that would make me happy. Knitting. Again. I must have missed a trend. The wool is soft and warm, but not very strong. I'll take two balls of yarn. I heard that elves use tree spirits, root gnomes, or mandrakes to defend their groves. But a potted plant protecting an office? That's a new one. The plant has no eyes, but it seems to hear pretty well. It appears to hear my steps on the stone floor. This book is even thicker than the one I once read. I wonder what fantastic powers this scepter has. Perhaps it deflects all damage from the person who carries it, or it lets you understand women. I don't have time to enjoy the view. Layla and the others need us. It's an odd feeling to actually be needed for once. Not as wonderful as you might think, because what if I fail? I'm so clever. All right. Whew. With that thing on its ears, it should have a hard time hearing anything. If I hit its ears, that is. With that thing on its ears, it should have a hard time hearing anything. If I hit its ears, that is. All right, now I just have to sneak past. That plant is very alert. I've no idea how I can get to the scepter without being noticed. Rats! Even with plants, it seems that all the other senses get stronger when one of them is eliminated. And if it can smell my presence, it will definitely smell Critter too. Let's be realistic.
Okay, I'll take over. The rope isn't as thick as the hawsers on the Mary. That makes it much lighter and more flexible. Not a chance. It's too far away. Flowers in a flying pot? There must be magic involved. For you.
Excellent! And now for the blossoms. I feel so dirty. What about you? Thanks. All right, the blossoms go into the water. Aha, the water that drips into the vial is beginning to take on color. I think that's it. Huh, smells great. I bet this would sell for a lot in town. Huh, smells great. I bet this would sell for a lot in town. Hold still. I want to spray you with blossom extract. <laughs> Stop making a fuss. You'll smell like spring itself. <laughs> Come on, think of Layla. That's better. <laughs> Pluto. <laughs> well, go away. Leave me alone. No means no. <laughs> that was close. Let's have a look at this. I hope this really is magic and I can figure out how to use it. What the... Cool. This should help us a lot. What do you say? Are we good or what? You said it. Back to the Northlands where they need selfless heroes. Wait, we have to plan this business carefully. I took a look at the scepter while we were underway. It looks like the thing can be used to manipulate time. Mm -hmm. Right. You set whether time should be accelerated or slowed down here on the handle, and in which direction. Well, if time in that weird bubble should run forwards or backwards. Think of the applications. In one fell swoop, cosmetic magic would... Lilla. Yeah, of course. Moncus is up first. But afterwards, it will make me richer than the heart ever could have. I'm starting to get really good at steering the old girl. Once all this is over, it's off to the south. Of course, any other direction would be pretty difficult from here.
I wonder if there's anything else up there that could help us. Hey, Mary! Is there anything on board, like a secret room with weapons, armor, or magic potions? There was a small storeroom for weapons, but the Red Pirate turned it into a wardrobe. Do you want to see it? Why not? I think that's everything. How charming of you! And the wardrobe almost didn't kill me! Don't be such a baby, Captain Nate! That is... not nice. A 600 pound token of love from my ship! All right, let's rummage through other people's underwear again. What the? Is that... is that supposed to be a wig? And here, a clown nose. Or... a clown nose. It would be a lie to say there's nothing else in there. But to be honest, I have misgivings about poking around anymore. Moral, hygienic, misgivings of all sorts. Moncus has conquered the sanctuary. I wonder if we could grab his submarine in return. Nah, that won't help the critters. And besides, the thing is probably well guarded. I'm not getting any closer. The guard isn't particularly interested in us. And that is more, or rather less, than I would have dared to hope. The clothes hanger is nothing more than a thick bent wire. I imagine somewhere in the broad plains of Greenland there's a yak with a crew cut. A blue one. That's a clown nose. Anything else is just a dirty mind. A scepter that can be used to manipulate time. I call it Scepter of Time! Hey, guard! You know what time it is? Or, wait a second. Guess whose time is up? Or, or even better, you're out of time! What do you think, kid? <laughs> time to say goodbye. simple wooden chair. It doesn't really fit in the critter's highly technological world. Maybe that's why they set it aside. Hmm, a box with black things. Are those plates or bowls? Something like that. Some wool. Maybe sweated wool, maybe not. Ah, only one guard! I would have loved to tell the tale of how I eliminated hundreds of them. On the other hand, I never was good at counting.
hope, no admittance. Who's going to stop us? You? Do you really think muscle counts these days? You're wrong, because I have this. This! <laughs> Ooh, you really showed me. I think we have to come for something else. Why didn't the blasted thing work? Maybe it needs some time to recharge, or it has a loose contact. One way or another, we shouldn't rely on it too much. Yeah. At least, I won't use it anymore if the result could be a bloody nose. We'll have to free Layla and the others with conventional means. We'll have to rely on our brains, our skill, and our good looks. Let's hope the scepter works at the critical moment in the fight against Monkus. Are those plates or bowls? Something like that. Some wool. Maybe sweated wool, maybe not. A scepter that can be used to manipulate time. I call it Scepter of Time. Unfortunately, it's rather unreliable. Take this. Take this. For you. For you. No admittance, or are you a friend of the boss? I have to check. Your evilness, there's somebody out here claiming to be a friend of yours. I don't know him. Kill him. Who would be a friend of that slime bag? Murderers, dictators, and lunatics, probably. <laughs> 